where else could you possibly want to be? The 127th edition of storied matchup. Just three, they're a stubborn team. Big Zapatello, the best senior. 1923, which was before lacrosse was an official varsity sport for them. Either way, they played a bunch. They don't like each other. Terps in the all black, and they start with the rock as Luke Weirman wins it. Quinn mentioned at 59% this year. It was plus 60. 15 to shoot. Angelus trying to shake free. You got to earn slides against this Maryland defense. Interesting contrast of styles defensively today. Angelus. And the first goal of the afternoon belongs to the Grants. Nice job by Jacob Anders. The uh, shot clock is winding down. But he can now, that was a nice save to get started. You know, as a goalkeeper, you know you like to get that first one under your belt. Maryland to the man up. Holy shot from up. Call fouls and make guys run. And also, they've spent a lot of time technique-wise to clean up their hitting. It's good coaching. Count it. Game in a row with a goal. It's already a school record. Defense as they come together and huddle about it. It's just too simple. And you feel it all week, you know, not only on practice, but, uh, you know, people just rise to the occasion. This is a big, big game. Load it up. And McNaney on the Here comes Eric Spanos, junior from Pottstown, PA. Chris Midfield back out there for Maryland. Sharp angle shot. Second man up opportunity for Maryland today. Didn't score after the offsides against Hopkins earlier in this first quarter. Erlen gobbles it up. Winding Dodgers, they rely on picks. Here's Angeles. He has a short stick matchup against Nick Red. He'll try to take advantage. Turn oh, and he scores. Three nothing Blue Jays. Angeles, the quarterback of this offense, really shifty behind the goal. Again, gets up that skip pass. So not only the man with the ball, but the man off the ball has got to get into that open lane. Nice look there. That's a good look. And Maryland's on the board. They take advantage on the man up. And then might be tax slot. Takes the extra step upfield to greatness, which just increased his angle. Just a... Yep, they don't like each other. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Halfway through that three-minute non-releasable against Degnan. Another shot, another goal. And the Terps are within one. That extra, extra second. And you give him some room and time. He is really, there's that, that spin move that you talked about. In the huddle, he's got his helmet back on, now standing on the sideline. He was the one who got rocked by Degnan. Maryland is two for three shooting on this extra man, making good calls in, but they could not connect on the pass. Now the Terps with a chance with 10 seconds left. Sprinting it into the offensive end. The shot. That's high and wide. All right, welcome to the cradle of college lacrosse. Every day, but especially today, and we've got ourselves in goal for Maryland. Makes it three in a row for the Terrapins, Goal. and this the one. McNaney picks it clean, and Maryland is off to the races. They execute the trailer break for three. The loser of this game could end up playing the Nittany Lions in the Big Ten semifinal. Here's Braden Erksa, last year's freshman of the year in the Big Ten. Sets it up, that rings. That second midfield, they're getting a, a bunch of runs here early in the game. Depth could prove to be a uh, big factor down the stretch, Quinn. It in. And Hopkins reads and Hopkins has scored on isolation dodges against the shorty from X. That's really the story of the season for these two teams. Hopkins leads the Big Ten in penalties committed. Maryland is the best at avoiding committing them. 16. There he is. Matt Cup. Allison gives the ball up, floats to the inside. Kind of nonchalantly and all of a sudden turns and what a lot of times that'll confuse opponents and they'll go off sides. Allison again. Degnan right outside. Bob from Degnan. His second goal today. Garrett Degnan with an absolute flamethrower on a 
Brian Gayers. 5'9 freshman with a lot of wiggle. Russell Melendez now. Lost his footing, harassed by Jackson Canfield. Ayers turn shoots, McNaney the... Spanos. Syracusa. Got a hustle on the shot. Bounces across the face of the net, no reset. The Terps in 2022, 18-0 overall, one of the best teams in the history of the sport. Under three minutes left in the second quarter. Good ball movement, sharp angle shot, Erlin's on it. They've pulled Bauer this matchup here because Bauer's got great foot speed. Three to shoot. Bauer got to go. He does. That was kicked away by me. I, you know, these, these young players are extremely well behaved these days. All right, five seconds left. That one makes it all the way to McNaney. Draws the short stick. They don't want to create offense for this Maryland team that lacks Dodgers from the perimeter. Ten to shoot. Syracuse rips. And beats her third. Spanos draws the defense. Syracuse with the left-handed step down. Face-off wins and their first settled offense goal of the day. Another step-down shot early against Avilas. Got to go. Murphy, three to shoot. Turns, feeds, and the horn. They look like clones sometimes, right? They do. If they took their numbers off, you would struggle to identify them. They were similar body types, and that's not bad for a defense. You know, defense, no glory, just wins. Nice job to sweep it to a teammate, Kelly. Maryland keeps possession. You know, McDonald, he was loaded, ready to shoot that ball. Unfortunately for Maryland, a little off. Well, at least... It's George Stamos, the short stick Sophomore team. wants to go into special forces. This is a situation where Hopkins' defense and half adjustments this year. Go, 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 go. Erksa with a skip, somehow got through. Hopkins' defense scrambling. Early with the save. Casey McDermott. Jimmy Ayers. Tried to sneak it home. Hopkins has really dialed down their slides and their double teams. Typically, they're aggressive. Whittier on the catch after the cut. Five to shoot. Early with the save. Main for like 20 years. Bowers got a matchup against the short for the first time today. Seven and white. He's at X right now. This is Peshko curling around the top. Shoots and scores. It's the party. Hopkins back in front by two. The band plays. We want more. Pesco. 6.4 left in the third. Ryan Evans runs it across midfield. And how Nice ground ball pick up there by Melendez. Got to go. 10 seconds to shoot. Evans. Finds Ayers. The freshman rips it. Easy. Jay's bringing fresh legs now. This is it's a tough possession for the Terps. Especially when Collison's got it. Sets it up, Degnan. Little step. McNeely with another. Slide comes. Finds Degnan. They wheel it around. McDermott. Quarter. Maryland is plus 10. Hopkins plus 18. But today, the defense has really made it tough to get a goal, both sides. This guy's been the difference in the last couple of games. Collison went to his right. Ten in black. He had five points in his first taste of this rivalry last year. And now he, ten on the timer. And shot never made it to the goal. Uh, uh, a writer who wrote about Johnny Unitas the same way he, he wrote about Frank Urso. Love it. Single digits on the shot clock. Angelus had a look. Where does the offense come from? Look at numbers. They do. Yeah. Four on three. Winning the sub game here. Kohler gave it up. Got it back. Shoots. Erlen turns it aside. Erksa. Here's a matchup he can work. Got the short stick. Jaronski. Got to go under a minute. 
Into the side of the missing lanes. You're listening for the check call. Erksa the trigger man. Around the screen. Draws the short stick to Ronsky. Erksa scanning. 12 seconds left. Up top. Erling. The save and the clear from Chase Erwin. And it's perfection in Big Ten play for Johns Hopkins. A 7-5 grind it out. With good tough win for the Blue Jays. Maryland, Maryland goes scoreless for the last 23 minutes and 51 seconds. A season low in scoring, including the team that won. Seven goals for Johns Hopkins. It was enough. Uh, rivalry games connect eras of lacrosse. Guys from the 70s, the 80s.